Let's begin. Let's begin. I've never seen this beautiful quilted piece of art that is just outside of the entrance of the choir room in Siloam United Church. It's got the little insignias up in the corners that have three leaves, but it makes up one object. And then there is the dove, which is kind of like the Holy Spirit. And then the cross, which reminds me of Jesus. And then there is the sun in the background, which is kind of like that light of our Creator God. Folks, this Sunday is Trinity Sunday. Now, what exactly is the Trinity? It's one of the hardest parts of our Christian tradition to understand no matter what age you are. And we're going to be looking a little bit at it in our Sunday school today, or at least a passage that relates to that idea of the Trinity. I remember when I was in Sunday school in the church where my dad was a minister, one time I asked one of the teachers, what is the Trinity? And my teacher thought about it for a bit, and then he said, listen, Isaac, I don't believe in this whole Trinity thing, and probably neither does your dad. <laughs> well, I asked my dad later on, he said, no, I do believe in the Trinity, and well, I'm hoping that uh, this little session together we'll be able to figure out what would be a good way to talk to our young people about what the Trinity is. Well, let's start with the basics. There is this idea that God is three in one in the Christian tradition. We have God the Creator, we have Jesus the Redeemer, and then we have the Holy Spirit who is the sustainer of us all. Now, you can get into all kinds of different conversations about these different roles. What I think is really important, though, for our young people to start off understanding is the idea that God, right from the get-go, even before the very beginning, is in relationship. There is this presence of the three persons of God, and they love one another, and that's the love that our whole creation is based on, what the whole cosmos uh, is all about. Now, our passage that we're looking at today comes from the book of Proverbs. The people who wrote the book of Proverbs probably didn't have a full-blown idea of what a trinity was, but there is this sense that God is in relationship with the presence of wisdom right from the very beginning, this lady wisdom. Now, as we're going through the story, we hear uh, the story of the creation, and then we hear that God delights in this presence of wisdom in the world, and then wisdom delights in the creation and in human beings and all the critters that God created by God. Now, as we're looking at the passage, I think that we can sort of think about that not just as a model for God, but as a model for our own lives. We have this relationship with God, and we're kind of invited into that love that is shared between the three persons of God. We are invited then to delight in God, but not just God. We're invited to delight in other people, just like the presence of God delights in other people and in the whole created world. We're going to be looking a little bit at then how we delight in creation, and that's going to be the theme for us in Sunday school this week, and we're going to look at how we can have a deeper respect for the world that God created out of this love that is being shared between these different persons. So remember, Trinity, it's about relationship. It's about a relationship of delight and a relationship of love. And that's what we're hoping to be able to share, not just on Trinity Sunday, but on any Sunday when we're gathered here at Siloam United Church and even on the other days of the week. Well, folks, I hope this has been helpful for you and God bless. Bye. Listen, listen carefully.